William C. Lee Gossett was an English statistician. He published under the pen name Student, and developed the student's T distribution. Life in career. Born in Canterbury, England to Agnes Seely Vidal and Colonel Frederick Gossett. Gossett attended Winchester College before reading chemistry and mathematics at New College, Oxford. Upon graduating in 1899, he joined the brewery of Arthur Guinness and Son in Dublin, Ireland, as an employee of Guinness, a progressive agrochemical business. Gossett applied his statistical knowledge, both in the brewery and on the farm, to the selection of the best yielding varieties of barley. Gossett acquired that knowledge by study, by trial and error, and by spending two terms in 1906-1907 in the biometrical laboratory of Carl Pearson. Gossett and Pearson had a good relationship. Pearson helped Gossett with the mathematics of his papers, including the 1908 papers, but had little appreciation of their importance. The papers addressed the brewer's concern with small samples biometricians like Pearson, on the other hand, typically had hundreds of observations and saw no urgency in developing small sample methods. Another researcher at Guinness had previously published a paper containing trade secrets of the Guinness Brewery. To prevent further disclosure of confidential information, Guinness prohibited its employees from publishing any papers regardless of the contained information. However, after pleading with the brewery and explaining that his mathematical and philosophical conclusions were of no possible practical use to competing brewers, he was allowed to publish them, but under a pseudonym, to avoid difficulties with the rest of the staff. Thus his most noteworthy achievement is now called Students, rather than Gossett's T-Distribution. Gossett had almost all his papers including the probable error of a mean published in Pearson's journal Biometrica under the pseudonym Student. It was, however, not Pearson but Ronald A. Fisher who appreciated the importance of Gossett's small sample work. After Gossett had written to him to say I am sending you a copy of students' tables as you are the only man that's ever likely to use them, Fisher believed that Gossett had effected a logical revolution. Fisher introduced a new form of students' statistic, denoted T, in terms of which Gossett's statistic was. The T form was adopted because it fit in with Fisher's theory of degrees of freedom. Fisher was also responsible for applications of the t-distribution to regression analysis. Although introduced by others, studentized residuals are named in students' honor because, like the problem that led to students' t-distribution, the idea of adjusting for estimated standard deviations is central to that concept. Gossett's interest in the cultivation of barley led him to speculate that the design of experiments should aim not only at improving the average yield, but also at breeding varieties whose yield was insensitive to variation in soil and climate, i.e., robust. This principle only appeared in the later thought of Ronald Fisher, and then in the work of Jeannie Chitagusi during the 1950s. In 1935, Gossett left Dublin to take up the position of head brewer, in charge of the scientific side of production, at a new Guinness brewery at Park Royal in northwestern London. He died two years later in Beaconsfield, England, of a heart attack. Gossett was a friend of both Pearson and Fisher, a noteworthy achievement, for each had a massive ego and a loathing for the other. He was a modest man who once cut short an admirer with the comment that Fisher would have discovered it all anyway. Bibliography The application of the law of error to the work of the brewery on the error of counting with hemocytometer, Biometrica 5, 351-360 February 1907. DOI 10.1093. Biomet 5.3.351. The probable error of a mean. Biometrica 6. 1 to 25. March 1908. DOI 10.1093. Biomet 6.1.1. Probable error of a correlation coefficient. Biometrica 6. 302-310, September 1908.
DOI 10.1093, Biomet 6.2-3.302, the distribution of the means of samples which are not drawn at random, Biometrica 7. 210-214, July-October 1909, DOI 10.1093, Biomet 7.1-2.210, an experimental determination of the probable error of Dr. Spearman's correlation coefficients, Biometrica 13. 263-282, July 1921, DOI 10.1093, Biomet 13.2-3.263, Review of Statistical Methods for Research Workers, Eugenics Review 18, 148-150, 1926, Zabel, L. On Students' 1908 article, The Probable Error of a Mean, Journal of the American Statistical Association 103, 1-7, DOI 10.1198, oh one six two one four five oh eight oh 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 three o. Students, Collected Papers, London, Biometrica Office, Biographies, E.S. Pearson, student, a statistical biography of William C. Lee Gossett, edited and augmented by R. L. Plackett with the assistance of G. A. Barnard, Oxford, University Press, ISBN 9780198522270. Pearson, S. Student, as statistician, Biometrica 30, 210-250. DOI 10.1093, Biomet 30.3-4.210